Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman out here at my shooting bench with another one of my vintage rifles. This is my Marlin Model 336 chambered in 3030 Winchester. And today, I'm going to be testing some ammunition that I just recently got. And we're going to be recording muzzle velocity, accuracy, and also expansion. I've got some Winchester PowerPoint. This is all 150 grain. I just love that picture they put on their ammunition now. It's wonderful artwork. I've got some Federal 150 grain uh, power shock. I've got some Remington Core Lock 150 grain. This is good ammunition, folks. I really like Remington. And I've got some of this stuff here. I just picked it up because it was fairly inexpensive. This is uh, PPU ammunition. This is not made in the USA. I think this is made in Serbia. But it's also 150 grain, 3030 Winchester. So let's see how well my old rifle likes this ammunition and which one that it actually favors. This is kind of a video to get you ready for deer season. Kind of give you a jump start. And if you own an old 3030 rifle like I've got here, this will give you kind of a guideline as to which ammunition you can start with because I'm testing it here for you. What you see on this video is exactly the way I encounter it, and that's what I'm bringing to you. So let's get to doing some shooting here. Okay, guys, I'm going to be shooting off these sandbag rests to try to eliminate any human error on my part. And uh, I'll be shooting at 100 yards. I've got a target set up down there already, but before I do, I'm going to put in some earplugs so that I can preserve my hearing. I'll be shooting a center fire rifle here. Keep my hearing up so I can hear that buck coming through the leaves in the fall. <laughs> First off, I'm going to try out this Federal 150 grain power shock. We'll take three shots down there at 100 yards and see how well it performs. But before I load it up, I'm going to give you a close up here of the bullet and cartridge. There it is. That's the primer. That's the tip of the bullet. It's kind of a flat nose bullet with the lead exposed at the front. So let me get zoomed in down here at this target. I have no idea where this ammo is hitting right now, but it should be pretty close down there at 100 yards. Okay, we'll get zoomed in here, and then I'll give you the velocity readings after each shot. Okay, here we go. Two thousand three hundred twenty nine. Okay, folks, I had to reset that target, and while I was down there, I went ahead and set up these uh, water jugs so that I can do an expansion test. But anyway, that initial velocity was 2,329 feet per second as an escape velocity at the muzzle. Here's shot number two. Looks like that hit right next to it. That's 2,335. 2,332. Okay, now we're going to shoot at the jug. All right. Guns unloaded, actions open. 2336 for the final velocity on that Federal Power Shock ammo. Okay. 
that ammo there is hitting just a little bit to the right but that's not a bad group right there at a hundred yards pretty good grouping and let's see the water jugs it went through one two three four and ended up in the fifth one here let's see if we captured that bullet I hear something at the bottom there and there's the bullet you know that's pretty good performance out of that federal all right okay next up we got this Remington core locked 150 grain that's the way it's packaged and it's got this serrated jacket soft point and it's rated at 2,390 feet per second at the muzzle. So let me get zoomed in here and we'll take a few shots with it. Two thousand three hundred eighty nine. That's pretty close to the advertised velocity. Round number two. 2,342. 2,373. And now for the jugs. 2,378. Well, that was the first shot, and these were the two subsequent shots after that. Looks like it busted my wooden block here when I shot, but either way, you can see where the bullets are hitting. And destroyed one, two, three, four, four jugs. Went through five jugs here. Let's see if we capture this bullet. I hear something rattling around down there at the bottom, so. There's that bullet. That's good performance once again. About the same as the Federal. Maybe mushroomed a little bit further back, but not. Not a whole lot, but still a good mushroom. Okay, next up, we got the Winchester PowerPoint. 150 grain. It's a soft point. Here we'll open up the package. Show you what's inside. That's the primer. Once again, a nice well exposed soft point and this cartridge is rated at 2390 feet per second so let's see how well it does at a hundred yards two thousand four hundred and three Two thousand three hundred eighty eight. Two thousand four hundred forty two. Two 
2,464. All right. Let's go check it out, folks. Once again, chamber's empty. There you can see the reading, 2,464. Okay, approaching the target, I see three shots grouped fairly close together. About like the Federal. Head gun shooting a little bit to the right. And let's see, once again, we got one, two, three, four, five jugs. And I did not get a bullet. Okay, I actually found that bullet. There it is. That's the Winchester PowerPoint. Fully mushroomed. Good performance at 100 yards. Okay, next up we have this rifle line by PPU. 3030 Winchester, 150 grain. And I could not find a velocity rating here on the box. I can tell you this was about 10 bucks cheaper per box than the other stuff. But anyway, let me open it up and show you what's inside. There's the round. There's the primer and the bullet. Just a copper jacketed lead exposed flat nose. So let's see how well this stuff performs. Okay. Round number one. Two thousand three hundred twenty seven. Two thousand three hundred sixty. Two thousand three hundred forty one. Here's a water jug test. Two thousand three hundred seventy six. All right, let's go see what we got down there. Two thousand three hundred seventy six. Here we go. All right. Well, that's a tight little group. Not bad for cheap ammo. Look at that, folks. That's two bullet holes there in one. That bullet went through the same hole. One, one, two, three. Still shooting to the right. I'm going to have to correct that. All right. One, two, three, four. Four jugs. And let's see. Ended up in the fifth jug, just like all the others. Let's go see what kind of result we have here. I know there's a bullet in here somewhere. There it is. Ooh. Not bad, but not quite as good as the other stuff. That stuff expanded, but mm, it's okay. I mean, that would still harvest a deer. Anyway, I'm going to tack up another target here and give that Remington another chance.
All right, let's try that again, folks. Okay, here goes the Remington once again. 2,358. Two thousand three hundred seventy two, two thousand four hundred twenty six. Okay, folks, for the final results of testing the thirty thirty Winchester loads that I've got here on the table using my Marlin Model three thirty six rifle, this is not a carbine, it has a full length. 24 inch barrel so it's definitely not a carbine it's a rifle I gotta say that after all the 30 30s I've ever owned this is the most accurate one I've ever shot and I've shot a lot of 30 30 rifles this one here is a good one this one here is about a 1955 model I think and it does have the JM stamp right there on the barrel and this one is not micro groove rifled this one has the standard Ballard type rifling, but I think you can agree with me from the test that it's a good shooting rifle, great deer rifle right here. And in the first test, I was using the Federal Power Shock 150 grain bullet, and here's that group. That's a three-shot group under an inch right there. The gun was shooting a little bit to the right. I should have corrected that before I did the test, but anyway, my aim point, of course, was the center right here, but as you can see, it shot just a little bit, about, oh, seven-eighths of an inch or so to the right, and that's the three-shot group I got, and I corrected that later on. There's the bullet right there that I recovered from the water jugs. It went through four jugs and into the fifth one and as you can see from the close detail there that's the front of the bullet well mushroomed. There's the base and as you can see that copper jacket peeled down very reliably and very uniform in shape. Beautiful mushroom for the Federal Power Shock. And the numbers that I got here for the Federal it averaged 2,333 feet per second in four shots and it had an extreme spread of seven feet per second between the fastest and the slowest. The fastest was 2,336 feet per second and the slowest was 2,329. So very consistent performance out of that federal load. I'm very impressed with that. Then secondly, I was using the Remington 150 grain core lock load. And the first group wasn't all that good, but in all fairness, I have to say, this is not representative of that ammunition in that rifle. It shoots much better. And in all honesty, this group was shot after fast successive shots before I test fired this group and then I retested it again at the end of the video at the end of the testing I corrected the sights on that scope and that's the group I got at 100 yards as you can see those two bullet holes right there are touching and then one just a little bit above those two so it's centered up very nicely and I've know that from past experience this ammunition is extremely accurate as you can see what I did is I let that barrel cool down the way I did with all the other ammunition and that's the group that I got and the bullet did very well there's the core locked Remington almost identical to what the Federal did nice uniform mushroom there peeled down almost to the base retained a lot of its weight just really good overall performance and here I've got the averages it averaged 
2,370 feet per second, actually a little bit faster than a Federal. It had an overall spread from the fastest to the slowest of 47 feet per second. And uh, honestly speaking, it did really well. That was the extreme spread, 47 feet per second between the fastest and the slowest. So that's not too bad. That's good, consistent performance. Then I tested the Winchester PowerPoint. And I've got the group right here. I love that box. That's a terrific looking box for the Winchester ammunition. The artwork is really nice. <laughs> There's another three-shot group, once again, printing just a little bit low and to the right. So it's consistently low and to the right until I corrected it when I retested that Remington ammunition. But that's right at about an inch at 100 yards. Here's the bullet. Just about the same as the Remington and the Federal. Nearly identical performance. This one here probably mushroomed a little bit more than the other two, but still very reliable. Retained a lot of its weight. That's the front of the bullet. There's the base. And as you can see, the copper jacket peeled down very reliably. And the lead core inside was retained. So, you know, good overall performance out of that Winchester. Now in regards to the numbers for the Winchester, it actually shot the fastest out of all the ammunition that I tested here on the table with an average speed of 2,424.25 feet per second. So, you know, right at 2,424 feet a second. And it had the fastest speed of 2,464 feet a second and the slowest of 2,388, which makes a difference of 76 feet per second. Not bad, not great, but still not bad. But still pretty good performance out of that Winchester ammunition. And then finally we got this Serbian made ammunition. This was the least expensive out of all the ammunition that I've got here on the table, but still it had Fairly good performance out to 100 yards, and uh, this is also a 150 grain load. And as you can see from the target here, it still shot a little bit to the right. That's two bullets in the same hole right there, folks. That's two rounds. And then one just a little bit more to the left there, but still, that's a good tight group. You know, that's well under an inch. That's almost a half inch group right there. Well, folks, let me apologize. My battery went dead a while ago and I was putting everything away and I realized I did not give you the final results of that rifle line PPU ammunition, but here goes. This is the bullet that I recovered from the water jugs. It's a 150 grain soft point, flat nose. And there's the front of the bullet, the front of the mushroom. There's the base of the bullet. It didn't mushroom quite as much as the other three that I tested, but still, I got a good mushroom. And it looks like that would do the job, you know, for a whitetail size game. Shouldn't have any problems. And uh, here's another one that I did previously when I first bought that ammunition. Same distance, same water jugs, same rifle. That's pretty good performance for that uh, rifle line ammunition in the 3030. And in regards to the numbers that I got, I got an average speed of 2,351 feet per second, the fastest being 2,376, the slowest 2,327 with an extreme spread of 49 feet per second. So, you know, fairly consistent. Uh, performance and pretty good accuracy at a hundred yards. So that pretty much does it for the testing of this ammunition. Now I'll go ahead and close out the video and give you my final thoughts.
Well guys, I decided to come out here in the woods to film the conclusion of this video. This is my favorite place to be, as you well know, and also my favorite place to carry old vintage hunting rifles like this Marlin 336. And speaking of carrying things in the woods, you're probably wondering which type of ammo throughout the test was my favorite and that I would carry in the woods to go deer hunting. Well, honestly speaking, it was kind of a tough choice because this old rifle shot all of them really well as you could see I had to do a little bit of sight adjustment to get that gun lined up perfectly at 100 yards but of all the ammunition that I tested if I had to pick one to carry in the woods you probably already guessed it folks it would have to be the Remington quite honestly I know that this ammunition performs very, very well in this gun because I shot it in the past and I've always gotten really tight groups. That one group was kind of a fluke as I explained because just before I shot that group in the initial testing, I had shot five rounds in fast succession, one right behind the other and the barrel was really hot. I didn't give that gun time to cool down. So I decided to retest this ammunition at the same distance after I recited the rifle and I got a nice tight little group here. I like the way that Remington packages their ammo. They have these individual cartridge carriers and honestly speaking one of the main reasons that I would choose this ammunition is because of the bullet folks. I like that Remington Corelock bullet. It's always served me well no matter what caliber that I shoot it out of. I've always had really good performance and uh, it's just a good performing round and it's different from all the others because in the 3030 here and I'm sure it has it same feature in other calibers it has a serrated copper jacket so that assures positive expansion each and every time you know and I like the way the bullet performed it's very accurate in my rifles anyway, and it would be my top pick. But the reason I did this review is for you to see the results that I got using 3030 ammunition out of my Marlin 336 because I know a lot of you guys out there have these old guns and they're all time favorites of many hunters and shooters. So I gotta say that uh, I would carry this in the woods if I was going to carry a 3030 because it's just so deadly accurate and so dependable. It's very positive functioning and it seems to prefer this ammo above all the others, as do I. So let me finish out by saying thanks again. I do appreciate you very much. And remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, no matter what your outdoor pursuit happens to be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And until next time, remember also, hit that like button, smash the bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this will be coming your way. So until then, y'all take good care of yourselves. Get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. Get your deer rifle sighted in now. Don't wait until the day before the season. And God bless. I'll see you.